Hi guys, this is a quick video to show how certain Squarespace templates such as Flatiron, which is the template that the site in the video is using, um, don't record page views within index pages. So um, my, this is what I'm talking about. So if you look over on the right hand side of the screen, I've got Google Analytics running uh, and I'm looking at the real time view. So and in the left hand side of the screen, I've got uh, Peak Show website, which is one that I've created for a client. Um, it uses the flat iron template and it's got a lot of index pages with a, with content behind them. So an index page is a collection of uh, it can be galleries, pages, all sorts of things behind it. Each of them is a page, um, but they're presented in a way um, that aggregates them together in one place. So let me show you the the kind of the issue. OK, so let's imagine if I refresh the page that we're first arriving on the site. So here we go. If I refresh the page, it loads in. As it's loading in, it fires off Google Analytics. And Google Analytics says over here on the right hand side in the real time view, here is a page view. And if I look at this more in more detail, it'll show me that that page view is the home page, forward slash is the home page. Uh, it shows me various things like where you are and things like that, but I, I know where I am. Um, so if we go back to the overview and go back to the site. Now then, what happens with these index page uh, sites in Squarespace uh, that is non-intuitive is that if I do, if I decide I'm going to look at this 805 million names article, click it, there's the article. So the article is there, the URL at the top has changed. But look, over here on the right, there's no page view. Now, why is that? Well, the clue is in this little hash here in the URL. What the hash tells me is that we're still on peakshow.com forward slash, which is the home page. And then hash says an index point inside that page. And the index point is 805 million names. So what's going on I look down the page and I see that oh there's the rest of the index page the original index page so what's actually happened is that when we clicked I'll go back to a, this will do a page refresh okay when we clicked this preview image instead of actually loading a new page what Squarespace does is it, it's uh, something called an Ajax call. So the Ajax call goes to the original page, which is part of your index, and it grabs the content area from it. And then it sucks that content and presents it inside the original page. So you haven't moved. You haven't, you haven't updated your URL. Well, sorry, it updates your URL so that you can bookmark it, but you haven't actually gone anywhere. Uh, and the problem with this is it doesn't it doesn't fire off um, a Google Analytics page view, so you don't know. Despite the fact that you've got all of this content on your home page, all your analytics is telling you is that this is a bounced visit. I could go, I could look at this page, this page, this page. So to me, that's I went to the home page and then I looked at three subcontent pages. That should to be should be for page views, right? Look in the right hand side. It was just the original page view when I loaded the page in. So there's a problem with that. And so I wrote a script um, that allows tracking of these page views. So I'll just go and activate the script on this website. OK, so I've um, enabled the script and we're ready to do the test again, this time uh, tracking the virtual page views. So we'll start off by just refreshing the browser so that we can see uh, the first index page view, which should appear in the right hand side. There it is uh, over there. And now what we'll do is we'll go through the steps that we did before. So these three pages. So here we go. Bill of mortality. And that is going to fire off. There it is, a page view. Next page, we'll look at Latan Ibrahimovic. And there's another page view. And finally, we go to the world's highest standard of living. There's another page view. So they weren't being recorded last time, uh, and they are now because the script in the background is basically looking to see when 
uh, the URL changes so it knows that some uh, index page content has been loaded and then it fires off uh, what's called a virtual page view uh, into Google Analytics to tell it that something's happened and if we look at the analytics data we can see that uh, in the content section there is the last one we looked at so it's got slash vpv which is something that I put in the script to remind me that it's a virtual page view um, and then we've got the page title etc etc um, what we're doing now is we're actually seeing the content within these pages that your users are looking at, um, which is a much better measure of engagement than getting the impression that people are visiting uh, an extremely content rich page like this and just going away. That's that's the, what the stats tell you at the moment. But by putting this tracking in place, we now know. Uh, what's important within a page, what users like, whether or not users are interacting, uh, if they are interacting within one of these pages, how many pieces of content interest them within the page, so you can see whether or not there's any point in having 20, 25, whatever it is, uh, individual stories, um, whether or not they're browsing, whether or not they're just uh, popping in and popping out, all that sort of stuff now becomes um, something you can analyse, whereas beforehand all you had was people went to an index page Full stop. Okay, well that's the end of this. There's a the script for the Flatiron template is on an article on the Silver Bucket website. That's www.silverbucket.com. It's specific to Flatiron because uh, it requires targeting of parts of the page to pull out the page title and things like that. But it can be adapted to work with uh, other uh, templates like Avenue that do the same sort of thing. Have a look at the article, hit me up via the contacts on our website if you've got any questions. Cheers.